on tea. Morning everyone, Atamadie. Welcome along, this is Yoga from the Lounge. Hopefully you've tuned in quite easily today. I've made sure that I'm broadcasting as Yoga from the Lounge, not Audrey. Anyway, Morena, welcome along. It's Tuesday the 29th of June. This is Yoga from the Lounge and I'm Audrey. Um, I look forward to working with you for this week working on standing upright and the effort and ease that we can take from this position. Now today you might like to have a head pillow handy for our, our supine work, our work lying on our backs later on in the practice. Let's get started, we're going to start standing up on the mat. Oh yes Monty, no I'm not getting on the mat, no I'm not getting down low. Now you just have to wait. All right, standing hip width apart. Let's check in with our feet. So don't, don't take too much of a solid stance to start with. Take a little bit of a, um, a mini march on the spot. Just feeling how your feet are interacting with the floor, with the mat. Check in with your legs, your torso your arms, your shoulders, hips, neck, head and just feel into your spine, take some freestyle movements. Being upright is how we are for most of our days and there's a balance that's required between being solid and strong and stable and then also being easeful, so we're not overusing muscles, we're not using muscles that we don't need. We've got muscles that are working for us but are not so clenched that they're going into spasm. So over this next few days and our next practices, just begin to feel easeful in your uprightness. All right, feet hip width apart, let's check in with our feet. Come forward so you lift your heels slightly, toes pressing into the ground, balls of your feet. Now come backwards a little, begin to lift the balls of your feet a little. Go to the outside or inside of your feet. Standing upright needs a good foundation. So let's come into equal balance underneath your big toe, underneath the little toe and either side of your heel. You may find that you stand more to the front of your foot or the back. Or as I, when I got to get new shoes, I had um, my feet are pronated, I think is what they call it, maybe inwards. So I needed something to bring them flatter. So I need to work on more making sure that the outside um, edges of my feet are more connected with the ground. Bring your muscle strength up through your legs. Tuck your tailbone, draw your belly button in. Long side body, head of the arm bones plugged in. Shut, um, elbow creases and thumbs open. Head, deliberately push forward and then bring it back to neutral. Realizing the top of your spine ends at the base of your skull, which is usually at around the same level as your ears, so maybe even higher than you think. And standing tall in Tadasana. Take some easy breaths. Maybe sighing out your mouth. Bring your attention to your right leg. Bring your weight onto your right leg. We're going to take a slow run. So bring the left foot up forward. Slide it back past the, the other foot. Turn your knee to the side. Lift it up. Place it down. Drag the toes slowly backwards. Use your arms as you need to to bring yourself into a slow run. 
working on your balance and staying upright. <laughs> then bring that foot down. Over the time of our practice today, I'm sure your balance will improve. I'm hoping mine will too. Bring your weight to your left leg. Bring the right toes up. Bring that foot forward. Slide it back. Open up. Come to the front again. Slide that toe back. Open up. This is the last one. Ooh, <laughs> balancing and come back to Tadasana. Feel the strength of your body holding you upright. Bring your arms up above your head, holding on to the right wrist with your left hand, sides into the left. Come on up through centre, swap your hands over, sides in to the right. Bring your hands down to your sides, sweep them through, breathe in, reach up, and float them down. Draw breath right in through the back of your legs, right up through your torso, breathing in, and float your arms down. Breathe in again, and float down. This time as you come in, as you breathe in, bring your arms up and come onto your toes, upward salute, and come on down. Breathe in, upward salute, and down. Twice more in your own rhythm. Maybe I am warming a little. All right, come into forward fold. So breathe in, arms up, hinging at the hips, float forward, chin come on down. Keep your chin tucked this time, looking towards the ground. Come on back down, fold forward, hands to shins. Bend your knees generously, press down through your heels as you rise all the way up, hands above your head. Coming down through prayer, hands together in front of your chest, breathe out, breathe in, float forward, keep the chin tucked, look down, continue to look down as you lengthen your front body as you rise halfway, fold on down, bend your knees, sweep your hands above your head, Breathe out, hands down, through that imaginary centre line of your body. Come on, up again, breathe in. Float forward, <coughs> excuse me. Chin tucked down, hands to shins. Breathe in, look down this time, chin tucked. Lengthening through the back of your neck, fold on down. Stay down this time, hands to elbows. Release your head with some nods, nodding yes. Shaking your head no. Releasing your hands to your shins. Halfway lift, keep looking down this time, chin tucked down. Breathe out, fold on down. Bend your knees generously. This time sweep your hands forward, coming up through chair, pushing all the way up. Hands together in prayer. Sweep your hands above your head, breathe in. Hinge at the hips, float forward, chin tuck down. Hands to shins. Halfway lift, keep your head long. Um, and spine long, chin tucked slightly. 
bend down, knees generously bent, backside pressing out, bring your hands forward, stay down, stay down, press up, upright, hands together in prayer, breathe out. Last time, back through chair again. Breathe in, reach up. Hand to the hips, foot forward. Hands to shins. Halfway lift, look down. Fold on down, breathe out. Bend your knees generously. Bring your torso upright as you press down through your feet. Lifting all the way up, hands together in prayer. Let's come to a short edge of the mat, coming sideways on for a step back flow. Get set up in Tadasana, so check in with your feet, maybe lift your toes this time, so you can really feel into each corner of your foot. Gently release the toes, keeping the energy in the main part of your foot. Breathe in, and hands together in front. Here, breathe out, looking down to your thumbs, leaving your hands at your heart center. Breathe in again, float your hands up, hands together in prayer, looking down to your thumbs, leaving your hands at heart center, stretching through the back of your neck. Release your hands and gently sit back with the leg closest to me into a high lunge. Check in that you've got a good width between your feet, that you're not standing on a tightrope. Back toes down, back knee bent, front knee bent. Here you go. In this position, feel where you're feeling upright in your spine and torso. Bring your hands into Anjaleyasana. Should be able to just see your fingertips in your peripheral vision as you're gazing forward. Draw your belly button in. Shoulders float down. Bring your hands into cactus arms. Claw the air. Release your hands towards the ground. Clasp your hands behind your back, lift up, look towards the ceiling. Chest rolls towards the ceiling. Release your hands to your hips. Take the hand that's closest to me and place it on the thigh, the front thigh, twisting around. Back hand to back thigh. Come on back through centre. Bring your hands into the air. Pivot around on those back toes. Come on through. Opening up into warrior two. Looking over the front fingers. Checking to see that your torso is coming more upright. That the spine is straight. Twist the head around. Place the back hand down on the back thigh. Turn the front hand over. Reach up into the sky. Checking in with that front knee, making sure it's still bent. Bend the top elbow now. Fold forward onto that front thigh. Pendulum the back arm through. So it's reaching away into the distance, top part of the arm close to the ear. Extended side angle pose. Feel your spine in this position, long and strong on the diagonal. Press yourself up, windmill your arms, long legs, straight legs, back hand to back thigh, top hand reaches up. on down, hands to hips, pivot your feet around, coming into a wide leg pose, 
Look up to the ceiling, open up the chest, hinging at the hips, slide the hands down, keep your hand, chin tucked in, coming all the way down, hands underneath your head if that feels comfortable, otherwise leave them on your legs. Bring your hands back to your shins, bend your knees generously, press yourself up, standing upright, arms out, and lightly step or jump your feet together. And then come to the other end of your mat. Check in again, Tadasana, long strong legs. Long side body, hands float by your side, chin and ears float back. Breathe in, arms up, hands together in prayer, leaving at your heart centre, tuck your chin, look down to your thumbs. Breathe in again, arms float up. Hands together in prayer, tuck the chin. Lengthen through the back of the neck. And release your hands. Step back with the leg closest to me into a high lunge, bringing a bend into that back knee and also into the front. When you're ready, hands into the air, Anjaleyasana. Draw your belly button in. Float your shoulders down. Float your ears and chin back. Draw your hands out wide, come into cactus arms. Let your hands fall towards the floor. Lean slightly forward, hands behind you, palms facing, aeroplane arms. Draw your belly button in, draw your chin in so that your, the back of your neck feels a little lengthened. Come on upright, bring the hand closest to me across to that front thigh, twist around, reaching back, back hand to back buttock or back thigh. Gently unwind, bring your hands back into the air and pivot around on those back toes to come into um, Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Back hand to back thigh, reach the top palm up towards the ceiling. Bend the top elbow, lean forward, place that elbow on your front thigh, pendulum the back hand through, stretching long, fingertips to outside back edge of the foot. Use the strength of your legs to press yourself upright as you windmill your arms, back hand to back thigh, top hand to the ceiling. Bring both hands to your hips, pivot your feet around to face the front. Take your hands out wide and either lightly step or jump your feet together. Nice work. Let's get on down to the mat. You might need your head pillow in a moment, so have that handy. And come on down to hands and knees. <coughs> Check in with your spine. Give yourself some freestyle movements. 
feeling in to shoulders, hips, waist, torso, back of the ribs, neck, and take one round of cow, breathing in and breathing out. And big toes together, knees out wide, press yourself back for child's pose, letting your head fall heavily on the floor or on your hands. Lift your head, press yourself up, and swing yourself around so that you're now lying on your back. Either with the head pillow at this stage or straight on the floor. Feet on the floor, knees pointing up, hands gently resting on your belly. Take a few breaths in and out. feels comfortable too you can close your eyes otherwise just turn your attention inside and use your mind's eye to imagine that you're drawing a line with your breath from your the tip of your tailbone which is right down seated in, in your pelvis all the way up along your spine right to the tip at the at the base of your head Draw the line up as you breathe in and downwards as you breathe out. Now it's quite a hard task I've set. There may be places that you have no sense of your spine at all. There may be places that you get, <laughs> you skip over or are hard to imagine. But being able to direct your attention to your spine using your breath is helpful in terms of being able to think about being upright, even though we're not at the moment. This way we're resting. And you can release that attention and just bring your breath back to an, its normal rhythm. Take your feet out wide and have a couple of rounds of window wipers. letting your legs release to the side on your out breath, coming back through centre on the in breath. And once you've finished both sides, bring your feet back to hip width apart, gently space somewhere comfortable comfortable distance from your backside and if you'd like to now's a good time to grab that head cushion just to bring yourself up a little further so that you can begin to feel comfortable. Today we're going to finish off with the movement from moving this called flower which again brings that attention to your spine so when you're ready, on your next in-breath, gently roll up the tip of your tailbone up off the floor. And on your out-breath, release it down again. So your hips are rolling up towards your shoulders and then rolling down again. As you become able to sense this movement, you can come up slightly further, vertebrae by vertebrae, rolling up 
on your in-breath, rolling up along the spine and gently rolling back down again. The movements don't need to be large or expansive, just the way that you can feel each vertebra and releasing it back to the ground again. It's like you're rolling up and then rolling out a mat. You're rolling up the mat on your in-breath as your tailbone lifts, gently bringing your hips maybe off the floor this time, wherever you're up to. Following your breath. Now this may feel like some parts of your spine are stuck or you're unable to feel where they are. That's perfectly fine as long as there's no pain. If there's any discomfort, just stop the movement and take Shavasana, corpse pose, resting on the mat. Continue rolling up. You might be up to your waistline. And of course, some parts of your spine will curl up more easily than others. Now as you begin to bring the movement right up into your chest, you can add in your arms. Check that this movement still feels okay in your body, rolling all the way up. Patting the cat along the way. And if you are using your arms, come up twice more with your arms. <coughs> Before we start the gentle movement, of reducing the amount we move. So in the same way, we move further up along the spine. Now we're going to reduce the movement slowly, no rush. Until you come back to stillness. When you've reached the tip of your tailbone again, come back to stillness. Take constructive rest, either stretching your legs out or maybe adding, letting your knees knock in together. Take a couple of rounds of breath. Gently draw your feet back up until they're on the mat. Push your backside away from me slightly rolling over onto your side using the strength of your hands to press yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Of course if you have a little more time then feel free to stay in Shavasana. Otherwise thank you for joining me today. Have a great day. See you next time. Namaste.